Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. I wanted to do a quick video, um, kind of where I'm at right now when it comes to Surface Pro 8 versus Laptop Studio for drawing. Uh, for gaming, it's very clear that uh, I think the Laptop Studio is a better choice for gaming as would most everyone because it has a dedicated GPU and it's fairly decent uh, for what you're doing. It's not going to get you 120 hertz at, at higher ultra settings at full resolution, but it'll get you a good gaming experience at 60 frames a second on high or ultra at half resolution, like 1600 by 1200 or something. So 1800 by 1200. <laughs> okay, so gaming aside, between the two devices, where am I at right now? What do I like better? What am I using? And I'm holding for ballast, <laughs> for, <laughs> for um, just something to have in my hand while I talk about tablets, the Surface Pro 7 Plus is not the 8. I already sent the 8 to uh, China. So for the two devices, there's a couple caveats for both of them. And uh, I wanted to share where I'm at right now. So I like the Laptop Studio better and would am going to try and go with the laptop studio so there's a couple different things that people have been talking about they're like okay well you can't put the screen at all different angles yeah you can actually you just flip it backwards flip it so that the screen is facing away turn it around and then lean it down and that works great and you i use my second hand on the side to hold and support it while I'm drawing with my right hand and I have the Tablet Pro hotkeys, um, kind of like these little guys right here. I have these on the side and I can control the program. It's super comfortable and it's a smaller footprint than the Surface Pro design. This has to go backwards. That means if you're using the tablet on your lap, your, your lap needs to be longer. You know, the space that you put it on has to be longer for you to have the keyboard in front and the screen it doesn't balance as well. Now you can put the keyboard underneath the stand and fold it backwards and use it like a little uh, tent on the top and that works okay. And then you have to pick it up in order to use the keyboard and flip it around and set it down again. That's okay. That's not a big deal. However, when the choice is um, not that much bigger, it's a uh, the, the 14 0.4 inch screen on the laptop studio is beautiful. It doesn't feel overbearing. I know I had a Surface Book 2. I think I skipped the Surface Book 3 because I really didn't like the design. This, the Surface Book 2 and 3 15 inch model was gigantic. It, it felt like a novelty size cowboy hat that I was carrying around, but it was the computer version. And I don't like that. I tend to be a little bit more on the self-conscious and reserve side. Uh, you know, I wear black and gray and am trying to expand out into other colors, uh, other colors of clothing. So for me, that was a big deal. I felt weird. The laptop studio is a really comfortable size. I like it. The screen feels nice and big. The refresh rate is glorious. It's super nice. The pen and the haptic, the storage is really nice. Uh, and for me, that that is kind of what pushed me towards the studio. Smaller footprint, I can also game. It's easier to use for art than the Surface Pro 8, which is just the first time like I had a Vio Z Flip in the past. Beautiful machine, black, separated here right in the middle of the back and sexy and well-designed and was my favorite non-Surface computer. And I actually liked it better than Surface computer in a lot of different ways. However, the aspect ratio was 16 by nine. The laptop studio, all these Surface devices are three by two, which is great. Uh, I really like that. And it's pretty close to everything I wanted. Now the studio is heavier, it's about twice as heavy neither one feels light. So keep that in mind. You're not going to pick up the Surface Pro 8 and go, oh, this is super light. It's not an iPad. Keep that in mind. It is not an iPad. It's not the same weight. It doesn't feel like the same thing. Granted, the 12.9 inch iPad is pretty big and pretty hefty. But if you're looking for something thin and light, 
the 12.9 inch iPad also not going to do that. You can get, get the smaller one and you'll be fine. So if you're looking at something that's really easy to carry around, neither of these are really going to check that box. So I don't use that as a qualifier for which one is better for portable. They're both equally portable. My arms are very capable of carrying around four pounds versus two pounds. So I'm not really concerned about it. The laptop form factor of the laptop studio is great. So much better on my lap than the Pro 8. It just is a little wobbly. And we, we know what it's like because we've used them before. Most of us have used them before. The design is a great step in the right direction, but it's not as competent as a laptop. You have so much more surface area. It's a lot more stable. So I like being able to pull the screen forwards and push it back and have the keyboard accessible. And I, I can't complain when it comes to that. It's a step better than the Surface Pro line. Uh, as far as the price goes, uh, Lisa from Mobile Tech Review said something that I thought was very interesting. And I looked into it and she's right, which is not surprising. She's brilliant and I uh, really like her channel. If you guys haven't seen it, Mobile Tech Review, uh, it's very good. She's very, very, very competent and does a great job reviewing tech and tech for artists. So one thing that she said is the Surface Pro 8 is not cheaper than the Laptop Studio. And I was thinking, what? That's crazy. There's no way that's true. Well, if you want a keyboard and a stylus, you don't have aftermarket options for the Surface Pro 8. You do for the Laptop Studio. Granted, I don't recommend any of them over the Slim Pen 2. So if you're getting a laptop studio, get a Slim Pen 2. If you want something cheaper, we do have one on our site. It's just not as good. I think the benefits of the Slim Pen 2 outweigh the $100 that you save from getting the R520C. It's good, but if you're spending that much money, get the Slim Pen 2. I think is really important to note is that the the prices are the same because you're you're spending three hundred dollars two hundred seventy nine dollars plus tax for the keyboard and the pen in addition to the price of the tablet so if you get the laptop studio it's going to be very very comparable almost exactly the same price on i think three models so keep that in mind uh, also, if you're getting it, use the 10% discount that's available for students, teachers, um, parents of children, <laughs> parents in general, and military. 10%, you can find it on the website. I have a video on my on my YouTube channel here that you can check out for details on that. It's the same price, so you're not getting a better deal, but you're also getting a GPU with the price of the uh, laptop studio. So keep that in mind. Obviously, you can get the i5 version of the of the Surface Pro 8 for $600 cheaper, $400 cheaper. So yes, you can do that. And the the i5 Pro 8, it's good. It's a very solid machine. Both are quiet. Laptop Studio is quiet. The Pro 8 is quiet. The quality of the line on both is exactly the same. You're not going to see a big difference there, but you have so much more computing power. Now, uh, I may go into more details on this in the next video. My gripes about the Laptop Studio and the Pro 8 line, because I have a couple that are, they're moderate. I, they're not any reasons why I wouldn't buy it. I, I bought the Laptop Studio because I think it's the best machine that Microsoft has ever made by far. So, uh, that's my quick take on Laptop Studio versus the uh, Surface Pro 8. I would pick the Laptop Studio, even the i5 model, over the Pro 8. All right, you guys, if you have thoughts on why you would pick the Pro 8 over the Laptop Studio, I'd like to hear it. And for everyone who'd like to tell those people why they're wrong, feel free to do that in the comment section. And I'll look forward to reading what you guys write and writing back. All right. Stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video.